Hello everybody, it's Scott Scott here for another wonderful episode of our Die War 20 Minecraft world. Uh, obviously in the last episode I showcased my little base and this next video is just going to be a quick showcase of uh, one of my mates uh, bases in this world as well. Right, let's begin. So what I'll do then is I'm just going to show you the outside. Uh, as you see he's got like a it's like by nine of those tier six, I don't think they're tier six uh, solar cell arrays from environmental pack tech. So he's got a lot of uh, energy coming in. Obviously, he has a, uh, a very nice tier eight energy core as well, as well as some uh, flux ducts, which is powering, well, transferring that energy into his main hub. Uh, I believe over here. As you can see, actually, uh, the guy has um, flattened the whole area for his uh, magic dome thing. Obviously, I'll go into detail about this dome shortly. Over here, we have his mob spawners, uh, his mob farm. Obviously, his is uh, slightly higher. And he's also, instead of, um, as you can see, instead of, uh, like mine, I use conveyor belts, he's actually used uh, mob fans. So obviously, when it pops down here, they turn on and push the mobs into the masher and then dumps all the items uh, left over in here and I believe uh, this iron drum will also put all the mob essence in here which then transfer it to there over here he actually looks like he has actually used uh, obviously conveyor belts that I've used but he's using by looks at the standard spawners from the nether and killing him that way as you can see he's just uh, got it still running here and getting put any of the actual uh, items that have been left over being put in here you see so got some blaze rods mob uh, experience and let's have a look oh it's sulfur yeah. over here he's got some more solar arrays lunar and solar panels these obviously relate to extra utilities you can see the grid power at the bottom there that actually relates to my overall power so it's kind of a combined thing here's a separate to mine though and obviously he's got some more here as well, water mills and lava mills. Anyway, let's go back to the um, the main the main base as it were. So he's got a door which automatically opens when a player is close, which is quite nice. He's also got some uh, elevators. So this dome and these walls were built with uh, the builder block from RF Tools nice thing about the builder block, you obviously put a, uh, a chest right next to it and put whatever, whatever blocks you want in it, it will obviously then make it. He's obviously used uh, glowing glass from actual utilities too to make this wonderful bright dome. The nice thing as well, about during night time, it produces a light source, so it's obviously lights up the whole ceiling as well, which is really nice. You see, he's got some uh, advanced power cells like I had from shown from my other video, my base. Nice thing about it, you, in here you can see that you use a link ID, and if you link them all together, it creates, as you see at the top there, um, a combined storage bank. So over here um, is a massive applied energistics 2 system. As I said in the last video I did, I was using refined storage. And it's far, far simpler than Applied Energistics 2 in terms of automating things and storing things. As you can see, it's quite quite a big uh, big operation here. The nice thing about it, though, is it uses a channel system. So you can see at the top there are 4 of 8 channels used, 4 of 8, 6 of 8, and it obviously colour-coded them as well. So over here, this uh, molecular assembler and this our object over here, will be equivalent of the large multi block I had in my base. So and obviously over here is obviously all just processing all builds. It's all very very nice I have to say. And then here's obviously you can see all his items. It's quite nice. Uh, over here obviously it's just this I think he uses these just to actually uh, Manufacture things off his own back as opposed to automating anything. As well, well, I have to say I do. I really do think he's done a very good job of this base. 
because it's not just obviously the top floor he has multiple layers down here obviously you can only get up and down here with being able to fly if you don't have a fly, uh, <laughs> the ability to fly you're going to have a very bad day by falling down there and that's what happened to um, uh, one of our mates actually in the game so I kept on falling and dying <laughs> over here there's another uh, RF tools but this is RF tools dimensions where you, as I mentioned in the, the previous video I did it's basically create brand new worlds within this world you know, it's very much Inception-esque over here he has his, uh, essentially a storage server room which I, I think is very very pretty obviously he took inspiration from my energy core uh, blocks with his future blocks but what he's done here is he's made him look like uh, all these ME drives where it's storing all all the different blocks and he's obviously got one on display here as well with these black hole units which basically allows him to store massive amounts of items but of only one kind so he's got his uh, smart cables from his applied logistics going all the way down I, I do I really do like the fact that he, he's shown where the cables go with these uh, panels as well the facades as he hasn't actually completely filled up all his uh, server room with all these discs but I think he's getting there so what we'll do then move on to the old next point uh, next floor as it were so you see he's still got plenty of space in there this whole floor is empty this floor is got I forgot about this obviously I mentioned the, the my previous video that there's a immersive engineering this fast grows like plants or anything like that so it looks like he's growing um, our, uh, sugar canes at the moment yeah but I think you need energy and I think you can turn it on and off to produce more and more but yeah they look very pretty uh, let's have a look over here I think he was uh, he's had a farm to try and get oh, dude, that was it pink slime he wanted from it so he was essentially culling a bunch of polar bears I, don't, I guess he just must have enough now of the fact that he's not using it but here I believe it was yes it was to produce some plastics or dry rubber and then to produce plastic so essentially what these would do so they place actual um, blocks of wood and then these would extract the actual uh, the latex out of it I'll pull it over here and then produce dry rubber very very nice like I mentioned before though about with um, mod pack versions of Minecraft automates the processes so much and it makes life a lot easier I think on the ground floor yeah that's it he has a, a bunch of as I showed in uh, the previous video, a bunch of uh, minor tier 6 mines, mining lasers. So, one thing I haven't done, and he's done, is this as well. It's very, very pretty, like mini pyramid. But it's a nanobot beacon. So, essentially, as you can see on the top left hand side of the screen, it's got a bunch of different symbols like health boosters, allowing to fly, you can see in the dark. And that's what this is doing, essentially. It uses a lot of energy RF up to produce that. But yeah, it, it's very, very nice. Over here, I believe, yeah, these are quantum quarry as well. So he's able to produce a load more items from that as well. As you saw in the last video, these are uh, chronic wireless energy crystals. Very, very nice. Imagine having to have cables to every single one of these blocks. Instead, as you can see, he's got one, and it's you know, powering all of these for just one block. Very, very nice. And there's a little bonus, you're probably wondering why there's a hole here, and this hole here. So what had happened, he'd gone through into one of my worlds, it was essentially um, a dragon world, where you, know, you kill dragons, end the dragons, and then you get the the dragon heart from it, for, that's from Draconic Evolution. Unfortunately, when he snuck in without telling me, he tried sneaking out, one of the dragons followed him, and... <laughs> Uh, the dragon decided to essentially go all the way back. Oh, hang on one moment. Hang on. Let's see, I've travelled a lot in this world. Right, where are I? Oh, that's where my base is. And that's where his base is. So, essentially, 
the dragons will always go back to point zero zero, and where that was was over here. So when the dragon spawned, it basically went all the way over here, and I had to chase it down and kill the thing once it actually got to this area. Yeah, it was quite quite amusing. So he's obviously uh, not completely filled everything in. He's just put uh, some glass there as a reminder of uh, what happened. As you see, the uh, this dome is obviously creating a nice bit of light from the actual the glowing glass itself. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this mini tour, um, and look forward to seeing you guys again. Don't forget to subscribe and like, you know, if you like this video. There'll be more and more coming out, uh, you know, constantly. And uh, like I said, I'm going to showcase some of the other uh, users or players' bases as well. And I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, see you later, see you later guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>